Good day, learners. Today, I am just going to brief you on lesson number 15. It is on the general ledger in which we discuss the debtor's control account. Learners, I have not included this um, section in your final exams. So I'm just going to present to you the solution to the activity that I have given you in the resource pack. So that this is your solution to this activity. Let's very quickly just go over it. They say, use the information below to prepare the debtors control account in the general ledger of Euro traders for the month of June 2019. Okay, they say debtors control balance on the 1st of June 2019 is 10,000 rand. So remember, debtors control will always be on the debit side. This is my debit side of the general ledger, and this is my credit side of the general ledger. The left-hand side and the right-hand side. So June 2019, June 1st, balance BD is brought down the amount of 10,000. Then they say total credit sales during June 2019 is 6,000 rand. On the last day of June is 30th. So my total sales, which I would record in the CJ, here CJ is 6,000 rand. So the next transactional amount, total receipts for debtors during June is 2,000 rand, which means Euro traders have collected 2,000 rand from the debtors for their outstanding accounts during June. So 2019, June 30th, when Euro traders have collected the money, they deposited into the bank of the CRJ cash receipts journal is 2000 rand. Then they say total returns by debtors, which means the debtors were unhappy with their products. So they returned it to Euro traders. That amount of 1,500 was allowed to the debtors. So it's debtors allowances. For this, we record in the debtors allowances journal, the amount of 1,500. Now learners, we're supposed to balance this account, the con uh, debtors control account. So I'm going to look and see which side is more. 10,000 plus 6,000 will give me 16,000. 2,000 and 1,500 gives me 3,500 rand. So obviously my left-hand side or debit side is bigger. So for that, I'm going to add 10 plus six, give me 16,000 and I record it on both the sides. Can you see there? Then I am going to calculate the amount that is the balance, that is the shortfall. For that learners, I will take 16,000 minus 2,000 minus 1,500. That gives me 12,500. Can you see that? So on the 30th of June, the balance that I need to carry down is 12,500, which I bring down on the 1st of July on the opposite side. Can you see here? 2019, July 1st, balance brought down. Here I'm carrying down. Here I am bringing down the amount of 12,500. Given all these amounts, learners, it is very simple for you to complete the debtors control account. So that is lesson 15, which I am not going to include in your June, uh, in your final exams. Okay. So now learners, I'm going to lesson 16 here as well. I'm not going to include the gender ledger in your final exams, but this is just for a little enrichment for you so that we can conclude these lessons. Okay, in my creditors control account, your general ledger of smart traders, they say use the information below to prepare the creditors control account in the general ledger of smart traders for the month of June 2019. Here is my debit side, which is my left hand side. Here is my credit side, which is my right hand side. So credit control balance, always bring down the balance on your credit side. Remember credit control, credit side. 
So June 1st, balance BD is 10,000 Rand. My total credit purchases during, 20, uh, during June 2019 is 6,000. So how much did I purchase for? 6,000 Rand. On the 30th, sundry accounts is 6,000 Rand. I include CJ, there's my folio. The next one, total payments to creditors during June 2019 is 2,000, which means I have paid the bank, oh sorry, I have paid or removed from the bank the amount of 2,000 Rand and I have paid to my creditors. So it's 20, uh, 19, June 30th, bank. The money got removed from my bank to make payments. So I record in the CPJ the amount of 2,000 Rand. The total returns by creditors during June is 1,500 Rand. There's my Sandri account, the same date, Sandri account. Because it's returns, we record it in an allowance journal. So it's creditors allowances journal is 1,500. Again here learners, I am going to see which side has more of the amount. It's 10,000 plus 6,000 or is it 2,000 plus 1,500? So 10,000 plus 6,000 gives me 16,000. I record 16,000 on both the sides. Then I work out the amount that I have to add here, which is going to be my balance that I'm going to carry down. Can you see here? 16,000 minus 2,000 minus 1,500 gives me 12,500. Can you see? So on the 30th of June, balance carry down is 12,500, which I bring down on my credit side on the 1st of July. Can you see 1st of June here? Then this is for the new month. 1st of July balance brought down will be 12,500. Can you see that learners? So that brings me to the end of the general ledger accounts. Remember once again, when you get to school, you don't have to stress about the section because I am not including these in your exams. Okay, learners, for the last, for the final part, or the final lesson, I have just included an enrichment for you. Here, I am presenting to you the answers. Okay, so you can compare it and understand it. It's all self-explanatory. And we have covered this in term one this year, as well as in grade eight. Okay, learners, you can go through all these. The answers are given to you. So this brings me to the final of my lessons to you. Okay, when you get back, I will revise with you all the necessary and important uh, sections for your paper. Okay, thank you, stay safe and happy studying.